Hello everyone. I am Ms. Tamalanchali, Assistant Professor, Department of Nutrition and Dietetics from KSR Arts and College for Women, Trichanwada. In this video, I gonna talk about the topic that is nutritional biochemistry. That is an overview of nutritional biochemistry. First, we have to know what is nutritional biochemistry. That is, nutritional biochemistry is a science of nutrition as a science. That is, nutritional biochemistry is a science of nutrition uh, as a science and that combines uh, physiology, medicine, microbiology, pharmacology, chemistry and biology to investigate a health, food, nutrition, illness and pharmacological therapy which also help us to determine the ideal dietary and nutritional requirements of both healthy people and the people who are sick. In this presentation we are going to see about uh, the topics like enzymes, free radicals, antioxidants, metabolism of carbohydrates and metabolism of proteins. First, enzymes. Enzymes are defined as a complex catalyst which are produced by living cells. What is the role of enzyme? Enzyme permit biological reaction. Uh, various biological reactions are performed in our body. So it helps us for uh, a biological reaction to occur more rapidly because uh, it has high degree of efficiency and specificity. That is enzyme. There are more types of enzyme. First, oxidoreductase, which involves in biological oxidation reaction. Secondly, transferase, which involves a transfer of groups from one organic compound to another. The third one is hydrolysis, which involves in hydrolysis. Then the fourth one is lyases, which is addition or removal of chemical group. Then isomerases, in interconversion of isomers. Ligases, which involves linking of two compounds. This is about enzymes. Next, free radicals. Free radicals is defined as an atom or molecule that has an unpaired electron. These free radicals can come from uh, our normal metabolic processes in the body and are also from exposure to cancer causing substances like carcinogenic substances and also from harmful substances in our environment. While uh, when the free radicals are uh, formed in excess amount in our body, it can cause uh, more damage to our uh, cells and it can cause several diseases too. So how to uh, get rid from these free radicals? That is antioxidants. Antioxidants are found in certain foods and it may prevent some of the damage caused by free radicals by neutralizing them. So free radical has an unpaired electron. So antioxidants apply one electron by neutralizing them and prevent uh, the damage from free radicals. Uh, the richest sources of antioxidants are beta carotene, vitamin C supplements and some fruits and vegetables like apple, garlic, berries, uh, spinach, tomato etc. Uh, these antioxidant plays a vital role in decreasing our risk of cancer and coronary heart diseases. Then metabolism of carbohydrate. Carbohydrate metabolism is the most important fundamental biochemical process which performs in our body because it constantly supply energy to our living cells. It is the most important biochemical process. Then compared to uh, fats and proteins, carbohydrates are the superior energy so for, uh, for an organism. Then the most important carbohydrate in our body is glucose which are broken down via glycolysis and then it enters into the curb cycle that is uh, citric acid cycle and oxidative to phosphorylation to generate ATP which provides us energy. Uh, major pathways of carbohydrate metabolisms are first glycolysis which is also known as emden meyer half pathway then the second one is citric acid cycle which is also known as curb cycle or tricarboxylic acid cycle then the third one is gluconeogenesis then glycogenesis then glycogenolysis, then the final one is hexose monophosphate shunt pathway which is also known as pentose phosphate pathway or direct oxidative pathway. Then the final one is metabolism of protein. What is protein metabolism? The protein metabolism denotes various biochemical processes uh, which are responsible for the synthesis of proteins and amino acids and also for the breakdown of proteins by catabolism. Then uh, much of the body is made up of protein. That is majority of our body parts is made up of protein. So this protein take their function as in their different forms like as a catalyst, as a transport and for mechanical support, for protection, for regulation and communication and it also act as a blood buffer. These are the uh, roles of protein in our body. Thank you. Uh